because he sees a few seats there. Patience of days. Mm. Hallelujah. to sing some praises to glorify the Lord. We want to humbly uh, welcome our own national head for Georgia, Pastor Amua, to lead us. Amen.
Praise the Lord. 
hallelujah, before Manchester piano music comes. Um, B-U-M. Another... proceedings to our own area head of Manchester and um, my person of Apostle James Kofisam. Amen. I believe this is the last naming and the preaching I'm doing as naming and dedication. And then taking into consideration the miracle the Lord has done for us. I had to struggle within my spirit to speak the mind of God. So this afternoon, I want to talk on children are a heritage from the Lord. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Reading first from Psalm 127 and verse three, Psalm 127, verse 3. The English standard version of the Bible. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb, a reward. Second Bible reading is from Proverbs 22 and verse 6. From the King James Version, it reads, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The third scripture reads Genesis 25. 19 to 27. Genesis 25, 19 to 27. It reads, These are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham fathered Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean of Padanaram, the sister of Laban, the Aramean, to be his wife. And Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his prayer. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. The children struggled together within her. And she said, If it is thus, why is this happening to me? If I pray to the Lord and the Lord has given me 
This baby is in my womb. Why am I going through this? So she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you shall be divided. The one shall be stronger than the other. The older shall serve the younger. When her days to give birth were completed, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red, and all his body like a hairy cloak. So they called his name Esau. Afterward, his brother came out with the hand holding Esau's heel. So his name was called Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when she bore them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field, while Jacob was a quiet man dwelling in tents. The final reading before I sum up the message. Genesis 27, 1 to 10. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son. And he said, Here I am. He said, Behold, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now then, take your weapon, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and prepare me delicious food, such as I love, and bring it to me so that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, I heard your father speak to your brother Esau, bring me game and prepare for me delicious food, and I may eat it and bless you before the Lord, before I die. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice as I command you. Go to the flock and bring me to go good young goods, so that I may prepare from them delicious food for your father, such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father to eat, so that he will bless you before he dies. Brother, in the Lord Jesus Christ, I do, as we do the naming and dedication today, there is one thing God would want us to know and understand that the children given us are from him. And for that reason, we need to train up the children the way the Lord has chosen for us to do. We do not have control over the children the Lord gives us. So today I want to draw our attention to the names that we give to our children. The name that we give to our children should be names that are pleasing and acceptable unto the Lord. We don't have anything like, this is a Ghanaian name, this is this name. No, God would want names that are pleasing unto him. Names that are pleasing unto him. And because children come from the Lord, God gives specific anointing for every person that is born into this world. Every child born into this world has got a specific assignment to perform. Some are going to be apostles, prophets, some are going to be presidents, doctors, engineers. The Lord has put in every baby the innate capabilities that enables that baby to acquire this position God has prepared for the baby. But God wants us, in order for this to come to pass, for every parent to train the child the way he should go. History has it this way, that there was an evil, wicked emperor, a Roman emperor by name Frederick, he decided, according to the monk who wrote the story, that he wanted to see that if children are abandoned, when children are just given baby food by the nurses who were instructed never to train the children, never to speak to them, just feed them, 
and then make sure you have dumped them in this environment so that I would see as the vocal cords mature, I would see if they could come up with any language. Is it possible for a child that has not been taught to come up with a language? Then history says he was not able to find the answer. Why? The children died. So God has given us this power and ability to train our children the way they should grow. And then when I was preparing the message and Isaac and Rebecca, so I will speak on the two children given to Isaac and then Rebecca. We are told that when God had promised that Abraham was going to receive a wonderful baby, just as we have received, it took them 25 years. Isaac had 20 years. But the Bible says that people who delayed to bring forth, God used them to bring out mighty and wonderful children. It's a mystery. So Sarah gave birth to Isaac after 25 years. Rebecca gave birth to Esau and Jacob after 20 years. And then Hannah gave birth to Samuel, the prophet Samuel. And then Elizabeth gave birth to John the Baptist, the forerunner. What surprises me is this young baby giving us. After these 20 years, the moment he came into the world, I went to the house to pray for him. And surprisingly, when the general secretary came to Manchester for a short visit, he also went to the house, went to all the houses of all the ministers, and then said, I have heard about this boy. I have come to see him. And I have heard him, and then he prayed over him. Hallelujah. What a mystery. And today, many of the ministers and apostles have also gathered together with the children of God to crown the program. So I want us to see the challenges parents have concerning the gift we get from the Lord. The challenges that we have in identifying the anointing, the purpose for which God brought somebody to the world through us so that we should not speak them down. We should always lift them up in accordance to the will and purpose of God. The will and purpose of God. The Bible describes Esau in Hebrews 12, 16 to 17 as a fornicator, a sexually immoral, unholy man who despised sacred things and who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, he allowed his natural feelings to prevent his spiritual blessings. The Bible says, when Isaac prayed for Rebecca, she conceived, but the children struggled within the womb. Well, that people from Jacob would be greater and stronger than Esau, because the Lord who knows us, the one who formed us, he didn't choose to say no. But he knew what was in Esau. And then the things that he yet to have. So God from the beginning had already made this declaration. Yet parents have a challenge in agreeing with the Lord. When this German evangelist, Ryan Bocke, was alive, he gave a testimony that when he was in school, when he was young, he kept on telling his dad that, Dad, I feel within my spirit that I am going to be a great evangelist. The father was a minister of religion. Then the father said, no, you can never do that. If anyone could take up after me, it should be your senior brother. He knows mathematics. You, you don't know mathematics. You don't perform well. Yeah. He said, no, Dad, I feel within me. Yeah. I'm really a great evangelist. Thanks be to God. He never paid attention to the Father. And as I minister to you this afternoon, I don't know the one who is speaking to you. Where's that unnegative? God who wants you to turn a negative ear. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I don't know what might have been said about Pastor Abraham and the wife. But in the help of the wife of God, the father, Mrs. Abraham, 
which I would never forget. Anytime the word of God is coming, I will say that lift the hand, hold the hand, believe in the word of God, and then shout it at me. You never saw I was watching you. I was keeping an eye and I was praying within my spirit. Anytime I saw her in Manchester, in Glasgow, at the mission house, in our conventions, and as I finished it, I was praying within my spirit. The Lord, Lord, watch over your way. Thank you. And this afternoon, God will do another miracle. And look at something. If you don't know anybody called Yahweh, 
I can draw your attention to Chairman Yamiche. It's a gift from God. The parents saw that it's a gift from God. And I can tell you, Chairman Yamiche is not only a gift to the family, he's giving a gift to the Church of Pentecost, a gift to the nation of Ghana, and a gift to the whole world. Yeah. When this man stands up and you look at him, you see that he is different. Yeah. There's something on him. I can't see which is when he enters the platform from the side door, every atmosphere changes. And in the time of person when he's preaching, even you have gone out to work for 26 hours, you will still be active. Why? There's an anointing for that man. Praise the Lord. So we have to be careful. The name that we give to our children. The Bible says there was a Judah, someone from Judah, who was named Nama. Meaning, meaning foolish. Never lived foolish life and died foolish death. He never saw the need to go to the God who had the power to change and give him a better name. But when he died, out of the pain that the mom went through, Jabez decided to go to the Lord. No, I didn't accept this name. I am not going to be Mr. Pain. How about if I become an apostle? People will be coming to me. Oh, praise the Lord, Apostle Pain. No, this thing shouldn't happen. God, you have to do something. Do something about this name. And so he went to the Lord. And then he prayed that, oh God, if that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from harm, so that it might not bring me pain. The God who changes name and destiny, changing his destiny. Great. So God did not approve of the name that Father Isaac gave unto him. So when you read from Genesis 35, 9 to 11, now God has appeared to Jacob. The one who has been named a deceiver and a cheater, a supplanter. God appeared to Jacob again in a dream. When he came from Padanara and blessed him, and God said to him, your name is Jacob. No longer shall your name be called Jacob. I did not approve of that name. No longer shall your name be called Jacob. But Israel shall be your name. Oh, may the Lord give you a new name. Amen. This afternoon, God is here changing names. Amen. You would be Israel. Amen. This is the name I have prepared and reserved for you. No matter what your father said, look, when your father and mom forsake you. I, the Lord, I, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall come from you, and kings shall come from your own body. To come from the bowels of this young man, God knows why he brought him so late. These things do not happen by coincidence. No. God has a plan and purpose. He has a plan and purpose. So, the Bible goes on to tell us the reason why Esau loved is uh, Isaac loved Esau more was because of his appetite. Isaac was a man who enjoyed deer, venison. So, because Esau was a skillful hunter and always brought him venison. This old man enjoyed venison so much so that he decided to be blinded because of his tummy. I was reading one comment here which says, the way to Isaac's heart was through his tummy. The moment he gets something from you, then he is finished with you. Whether you are bad or you are good, you are excellent. So Isaac, because of venison, was blinded to the fact that Jacob deserved the anointing that has already given you a name, a name pleasing and acceptable unto him. So when he was about to die, when he couldn't see, he decided to bless Esau instead of Jacob, contrary to the mind of God. And so when he was speaking, Rebecca was also listening. But the mistake was this. Rebecca should have summoned courage to draw the husband's attention to the fact that, Daddy, Lord, remember when I was pregnant, the Lord made it known that
that the blessings should come upon Jacob. This woman did not do that, but also decided through deception, lies. But God doesn't need anyone's help. Praise the Lord. Anything God says he will do, he will do. From Bible we see that anytime somebody wanted to help God out, the person landed in trouble. When Sarah decided to help God, to bring the Savior into the world, we were told that the baby from Hagar was going to be a wild donkey of a man. And instead of bringing blessings, he's going to attack the world. So you cannot help God, no. Please, I don't know what you may be going through. That is forcing you to try to help God, no. Keep quiet, pay attention. God will bring it to pass at the appointed time. At the appointed, he's never late. He knows everything that you are going through. He knows all things. So God saw what Isaac was doing, but he had his plan. But he did not need Rebecca's uh, plot to enable his blessings to come on Jacob. He had chosen him and he was going to do it. So now let's see. Train a child the way he should go. Let's see the training Rebecca gave to Jacob. Genesis 27, 8 to 9. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice as I command you. Go to the flock and bring me two good, good young goats, so that I may prepare from them delicious food for your father, such as he loves. So she told Jacob to bring two goats instead of venison. The man loves venison. Why should you tell your son to bring in two goats instead of venison? Something your husband loved. So that was the first lie. And then she told the man or the son that this is a command. Obey my command. Children, listen. The children that we bring up, it is not what we tell them to do. But they watch our character. Listen, it is not the title that you have. Do you know that people know us because of our character? It is not our titles. We may be carrying big titles, but people know us according to how they perceive us. The things that we do, character can never be hidden. You can smile and do whatever you want. But your lifestyle, everything in you is already known. So in the house, the way you converse, the way you talk about people, when other people call or people visit, all of a sudden, your children are surprised. Ha! Could this be our dad? Could this be our mom? Hmm. This know you. How does your children see you? How do they see you? Do they recognize you as an officer? Do they recognize you as a Christian? Rebecca was telling the son to lie. He brought up a plan so that she could help, but God did not approve of that plan. He says, I am commanding you, obey, obey. So the boy began to correct the mom. But Jacob said to the Rebecca the mom, behold, my brother Esau is hairy man, and I am smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I shall seem to be mocking him, and bring a curse upon myself, and not a blessing. So the child was correcting the mom. It's not good to lie. If I'm found out, instead of having blessing, I will have curses. And now Rebecca was determined to coach this young man. No, no, we have to do it. No, we have to do it. So he said, let the curse come upon me. My son, obey me. Go and bring two goats. I will do the meat and then you will present it. But as for the curses, you allow the curses to come upon me. So with this, Train a child the way he should go, a heritage from God. This man decided to tell the line of the mom. And so this woman killed, uh, the boy brought the goats, they were killed, food was prepared from it. And then to cover the body, to look like Esau, to impersonate Esau, the mom cleverly used goat skin to cover the neck and then the hands. The father could not see. And then he went to him, Daddy, 
I am back. I've got your favorite, the venison. And then the father was surprised that it took always long time always for a hunter to get meat. How come that within 30 minutes you have got this venison and you are back and you have prepared the food? How come? And then because the mom had begun to train this boy how to lie, he decided to go ahead and then bring God in his life. So he said, oh, hallelujah, daddy. Oh, sons of God. When people are lying, the way they sometimes begin, they wouldn't make you suspect them. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh. Daddy, your God, your God was my helper. And so Isaac was happy. Oh, my God made a way. He was lying. God didn't have any part in the lies people speak. Have we been lying in the name of the Lord? I heard within my spirit. I, and he hasn't heard anything. Say anything, it doesn't matter. You did not regard your birthright, and then you sold it. And for that reason, the blessings associated with it, you have lost it. What decision are you taking? And then you are taking it lightly. Do you know its spiritual implications? Your refusal to do petty, petty things. Do you know the spiritual consequences of what you are doing? So he lost it. And then he was calling his name. Later did he know that the name giver had already given a better name to him. He was no more a deceiver. Hallelujah. I don't know the name that is going to be given to this baby. I saw it in the games, I never took time to watch because I wanted to tell us. But I can tell you, God is here to give him a name. A name from on high. And everything that he wants his baby to do, God knows. And all will come to pass at the appointed time. So what happens when the children are not brought up the right way? When Rebecca was old and Isaac was old, this is what happened. He so said, this is the second time this guy has done tricks on me. I will wait till my father dies. And then after the morning, I'm going to kill him. So Rebecca was going to see the twins she depended on God for being killed because the law was said that if one kills somebody, the person should also die. So he said, how can I lose these two children? So she came up again with another lie and then went to the husband who could not see. Now look, when I think about these women, the Hittite women in our town surrounding us, look, that grieves my soul. I am not able to see my son marry one of such girls. Please, could you send him away? He was lying. That was a lie. So the father had to send him away. Instead of enjoying the comfort that they had had with Jacob and with Esau, there had been division as a result of the training that they gave them. Now, what training are you giving your child? Are there divisions amongst your children? Do you love some more than others? And then the children, they know. When you are dishing out food, they watch. Everything, the good thing that you say about somebody, they listen. Bring all your children before the Lord. Let the Lord work on all your children. Don't turn yourself into Isaac, whose belly served him so much so that his appetite would always detect who to be blessed and then who not to be blessed. Isaac went against the will of God. As we pray, I don't know the decisions that you have taken. The mind of God that you should have communicated, which you haven't done. But we have a God who is a faithful God. When we go before him and cry unto him, he is able to give us another chance. And as we name this wonderful miracle baby, his name is not going to be Jacob. This guy has a name from on high. God is going to multiply this baby. God is going to cause great people to come from within the bowels of this baby. And all I shall see and testify that of a truth, 
those who put their trust in God are never put to shame. May the Lord bless you. His mercy so
of prayer for you. I accepted God to give it to the Lord. So as I'm going down, I invite Pastor Francis to the to bring the child in front of me so that we can declare the name to the church of grace. Unto the Lord. Sun 
Our Lord and our Master Jesus, once again, we want to thank you. Thank you for the great and miraculous things that you've done in the life of our, our brother and our sister, Riafi. We thank you all, Lord Jesus, for what you have done in the life of your church, and even in this nation, and even in the nation Ghana. You have done so many things, but this surpasses them all. We have met here, and from our heart, we want to give praise and adoration to you. We therefore pray, lift this child that we are naming and dedicating today to you, and asking that all the power of the Holy Spirit will fill him. The power of the Holy Spirit will fill him. Your anointing will be upon him. Your grace will be upon him. Your strength will be upon him. All the blessings that you have for him, even in these times and even in his generation, will come to pass in the name of Jesus. You have plans for him, and therefore I want to declare today that all the plans that you have for me, him should come to pass in the name of Jesus. Those who see him and bless him, those people should be blessed. And those who see him and curse him, those people should be cursed. That is what your word says. Therefore we pray and declare that blessing. The blessing from the Abraham's time to now. We declare it upon him in the name of Jesus. We are praying, Lord my God, Lord, from his infancy to his adulthood, wherever he steps, may there be grace there. May there be a blessing there. His peers, may they be blessed because of him. Lord, do great and miraculous things through this boy. Lord, we have heard from your word. Any child who is born late, or who is, whose is, his birth is delayed, you use them to do exploits. When we go through the scriptures, we have so many testimonies in that nature. Therefore, we pray, Giovanni should be that kind. Use Giovanni, my God, to do great wonders, to do great wonders, that people will come from far and near to witness that indeed, what we declare today has come to pass. Use him to be a man of valor. When he stands to declare your word, millions and thousands will come to you. They will come and know you and come and accept you as your personal savior. We know that you are a faithful God and therefore what we ask, you do them. Because of him, his parents should be blessed. Because of him, the family should be blessed. Because of him, the church should be blessed. We thank you that what we have honored, what we have honored today, you will do that for us. We thank you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, Giovanni, and the God who brought you into this world, watch over you and keep you. Pray you. May the hand of God be upon your life. Yeah. May God shine his faith upon you. May God be your portion. May you never lack like anything in this world. We are free. May God grant you wisdom. Wisdom to grow in wisdom. Wisdom to grow in stature. Wisdom to grow in favor before God and before man. May you become a pillar in the house. May you become a glorious boy that the power of God is in you. May you become a prophet in this church. A prophet has in you that you, through you, God will reach many upon this. As a servant of God, I dedicate you into the good hands of our Almighty God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I soak you in the blood of Jesus Christ. May you never live in His presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What do we tell our apostle? I say we so free. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. At this time, I want you to grab an envelope. Uh, we have only one um, support donation gift that we are going to give. So there is no offering. It's, it's once. So whatever.
to a point, Jesus asked the disciples, Who do men say the Son of Man is? Some say you are Elijah. Some say you are Nehemiah. John the Baptist. But I said, What about you? What about you? And I pray that you and I, you will see him as the Son of the Living God. Amen. 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 We really thank God. We really thank God. God indeed is a gracious God. Amen. 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 We heard people want to testify. Nipa wa dance But the secret is, God has been using us to bless a lot of people. Some don't have kids. You pray for them, they have their children. There's one woman, I don't know whether she's even here. She was down with stroke. Instant healing. Instant. But what about you? Who dear were here for? But God in his own time. God in his own time. He has made it beautiful. Amen. The Empire Body said, if anyone is in such a situation, may God visit that family. Today, God is changing situations. I pray that he will change situations. We're really grateful to God. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. Sometimes you have a pastor who has seen you off. And you go and lie down or you kneel down. What will go to be? They need me off for a seat pet. But we come to Manchester. And during the work. What was Raymond was praying for us. I told God, don't let us leave Manchester with emptiness anymore. Praise the Lord. I really thank God for what we've done. We are just grateful to our chairman, Apostle Kinyamichi. He called me on one Sunday around 10 30 p.m. UK time. I'm sure I tell them to pay Omreya on now to share the good news with us. We really want to bless him. As our area head rightly said, our general secretary passed by on a family issue. I said, I have heard it. And I hold the child. General secretary, wherever he is, God reach you bless him and why. Coming down to Manchester. Some of you are not aware. Our apostle Sam, I call him double, double father. Amen. Apostle Sam was my district pastor. And now he's my area head. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As a deacon, he recommended me to ministry. Amen. And now I'm here to see his retirement service. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Apostle Sam and Mama Agnes. And yet can you understand me in trouble. You have done a lot for us. Amen. Amen. Now, the whole UK, we are under our headship of Apostle Ose Ose. Of Fremen Ose Yahweh, Baba Da Manchester. Because of us, Apostle has to move camp. What? God, oh, bless your eye. Came with Mama Elizabeth. Somebody is saying, man, I will get there. Amen. Amen. All the apostles here, we have Apostle ABC here, Apostle Tedeku here, all the ministers and their wives. All we are saying is may God richly bless everyone. Amen. It's amazing. There's a lot to learn today. From our very local church in Tottenham Local. We were transferred from Tottenham Local, Yehye Frigo, Apostle Sam Kuruya, around 2006 to 2007, and then Tottenham Local for a And to remind them, I was their local secretary. The wings and... Amen. From there to Archway, Archway for God richly bless everyone. From there to Reading District, we said, Master Masawa. Amen. From 
ready to handle this thing. Praise God, hallowed. From Harlow to Wembley. Chairman and his people, Yami Eshram. From Wembley to Glasgow. All of us. Amen. And, and we have people from London. Dagenham as well. Bless you all. And the cra 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 is Manchester. I call this place our Alala, our Alala, our Alala. The ark landed here. So, Apostle Chair, we share Manchester for the Omasu Bayo. Hard working district secretary, Elder Odru, and his team, we say, Nyami Onshamu Papa. We're going for an invocation. You want to be passed, but don't look at yourself and relax. We'll take care of the situation. And that is why we see this place. Chairman, where is Chairman? This is calculated. It's calculated. Amen. Praise God. And now know it's a great day. And a great day is today. It's with mixed feelings. It's with mixed feelings. Because I've loved that my old boy would have loved or lived to see this day. The pay out what they say, yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me have one chest. Oh, my God. I thank God. Amen. I thank God. Amen. Amen. But the representative is here. Amen. Of our bread. Amen. Papa, a work as I see soon. Very good man. Amen. Of our Came with the wife all the way from Croydon. Amen. Amen. God has blessed our family so that when you come in there, this is our senior brother coming all the way from the USA. Pastor Edward Uyafi. Coming all the way from America. Tomorrow, Manchester PIWC will be American English. Amen. Say, because he a a very mistake that the can is a mommy, Julie, and Tim. We have a family or circle family, Tim Bafo family. Oh, be a baby, in Tinawa, I sing a me with Shab. At a point, yes, you see, some more GT Cacasses not a bar. He will tell this mom to do. Yamin, you say, you need it. So why compare our faith to the master city? But I pray that God will increase our faith. Never be fear we shared with them that we bought a pram from the US 2006. This pram had been with us from Reading, Harlow, Wembley, Glasgow. But even to Manchester. God has put somebody in. By your support. Amen. And we are here because of you. Empire, you say, there will be a Just increase your faith a little. Amen. Tell yourself, if God has done it after 20 years, Amen. it never changes. He will do it for you. Amen. Amen. I'm the last one.
And a successful service as we are dispersing from here. May your very presence go with us. Amen. Take us all to our various destinations. Yes. When we have connected with one another, we will continue to give you praise and to give you glory. And now, the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord continue to make his face shine upon you Amen. and be gracious unto you. And this miracle service, may the Almighty God turn His face towards you and attend to your needs and perform a miracle in your life. May He release His countenance upon you and above all give you peace, even now and forevermore. May we go with the blessings of the Almighty God. Amen.
It's now a testimony So the essence of my praise Is centered on your grace Achum, achum, wachum It was you, my lawyer in that courtroom It was you, my soldier on that battlefield So the essence of my praise is centered on you. 